Throughout its 12 year history, Bitcoin has been known for numerous stuff, wild swings in volatility, concerns about its implicit use in illegal deals, and occasional affiliated cyber attacks. But over the last year, with its value soaring, the borderline dwelling digital currency has garnered mainstream attention by accepting invitations to appear on corporate balance sheets. In today's video, we'll talk more on the topic and discuss why Bitcoin may skyrocket soon. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Macroeconomic expert Lynn Alden is laying out how Bitcoin can eventually make its way onto the balance sheets of central banks of nation states. In a new interview with Peter McCormick on what Bitcoin did, Alden argues that current geopolitical pressures may force some nation states to start taking Bitcoin more seriously. With countries around the world freezing and seizing means from Russians while sanctioning the country's means, Alden says it's demonstrating a solid use case for Bitcoin. The macro critic says that before central banks buy Bitcoin, sovereign wealth finances with a slightly advanced appetite for threat will start accumulating BTC first. With further players in the game, further liquidity and lower volatility, Alden says the stage can be set for central banks to eye up the flagship crypto asset. Consider MicroStrategy, an openly traded maker of business intelligence software, which in August 2020 began spending subsisting cash on its balance sheet to buy large amounts of Bitcoin. Its original $250 million disbursement has since been supplemented, with the establishment's investment soaring to $2.2 billion as of early April 2021, valued at about $5.3 billion. At one point, the $482 million company even completed a debt immolation so it could buy $1 billion in Bitcoin. Other companies, ranging from electric automaker Tesla to Square, the payments company, have followed MicroStrategy's lead, adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets. When Coinbase, the country's largest crypto exchange, went public through a direct listing in mid-April this year, its valuation at the end of its first trading day nearly $86 billion, more than 10 times its former private valuation, sounded to jester pent-up institutional enthusiasm. But many finance leaders appear to be taking a sit-and-see attitude. One survey of 77 finance administrants found that only 5 intend to invest in Bitcoin as a commercial asset this year. Why the hesitation? The list of enterprises includes the fiscal threat associated with Bitcoin's volatility, worries over the depth and liquidity of cryptocurrency exchanges, and a lack of clarity around how Bitcoin can and cannot be used. Still, there are many reasons for a company to add digital means to its balance sheet. Whether it's seeking the asymmetric threat return observed over past years or as a natural hedge against shifting fiat currencies, whether it's part of a commercial strategy to embrace up-to-date open technologies or as a complement to a functional strategy that includes accepting digital means as payments. However, if Bitcoin ends up on central banks list, the Bitcoin's price is about to skyrocket, so look out. And that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.